The Nutcracker. Once upon a time, on a snowy Christmas morning, there was a knock on the big blue door. Clara, please see who is at the door. As Clara excitedly ran down the stairs, she was hoping to see someone special. And special indeed, it was. <gasps> Uncle Jack! Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, little one! <laughs> Little anymore, Uncle? Oh, how does that matter? You will always be my little princess. But I guess you are right. You are all grown up now. Ah, <sighs> I should take your Christmas toy back then. Oh, forget what I said. I am little, as little as the ballerina you made for me last Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Jack was a toy maker. Every year, he would make wonderful, lifelike toys for Clara and her brother Fritz. Clara loved all her toys and kept them safe in her closet. She had tin soldiers, a pirate, ballerina, horse riders, tanks, monster trucks, and much more. On the other hand, Fritz never took care of his toys. His dolls were always lying on the floor. What toy have you made me this year, Uncle? Oh, this year I have got something very special for you, Fritz. But you will have to wait till tonight to open your toys. Oh, Uncle, please. Night is so far away. Please, please, let us open them now. <laughs> you kids. You know I can't say no to you. All right. Anyway, I think this Christmas night is going to be magical. Oh, Uncle, we are not that small. We know there is no magic. Oh, don't be so sure, my child. It's Christmas after all. Oh, your chit-chat put me to sleep. Can we open our presents now? <laughs> sure. This is yours. And this is yours. As Fritz opened his box, he saw a mouse warrior inside. He looked deadly with his blaring teeth. This one looks so real. Clara, come look. Seems like he just returned from a war. But Clara wasn't listening. She kept staring at her toy. It was the Nutcracker. He had a long parrot-like nose on a head which was bigger than his body. But something about this toy was different and Clara could not take her eyes off of him. Ha <laughs> That's so ugly! No one is ugly, Fritz. He just looks different. Ahem. <clears throat> you mean ugly. Different is not ugly, Fritz. And my Nutcracker is not ugly. Oh, stop fighting, kids. And she is right, Fritz. Different is not ugly. This is exactly why I brought this toy for you, Clara. I knew you would see beauty in the Nutcracker beyond his long nose and his big head. He is a brave young man. He didn't always look like that, you know. What do you mean? Is there a story? You have to tell us. <laughs> of course. Come, let's sit down. <clears throat> now, listen closely. Once upon a time, there was a queen who liked her castle very, very clean. She carried a fan and a mirror to see if her face was always as pretty as it could be. But once so happened on an unfortunate day, her maid tripped over a carpet that lay. The wall behind the table was covered with cream. The queen was so furious, she gave a loud scream. <gasps> How dare you spoil my castle's beauty? Guards, throw her away! This made the maid so angry. You only think of yourself. You don't care for those who work for you. You don't understand that beauty is not everything. You will always regret this day, but now you will see. I curse you, queen. Longer will be your nose, and bigger will be your head. And only when you crack the hardest nut will you be able to go back to your old self. The queen sat there 
and cried. Oh, no! My face! What do I do now? I don't know how to crack nuts. How can I crack the hardest nut? Just then, the nutcracker came. Oh, but I can. I will do it for you, my queen. And so the nutcracker cracked the hardest nut. Immediately then, the curse lifted. But what happened to my face? The nutcracker's nose grew longer and longer, and his head grew bigger and bigger. But the queen didn't care. Oh, you are ugly. You are not fit for my beautiful castle now. Off you go. And the nutcracker was sent away. But that's not fair. The queen was so mean. I agree. So now you see why your nutcracker looks like that. Not hers. I want that nutcracker now. But you hated him. And uncle got it for me. You don't take care of your dolls. But Fritz didn't care. He wanted the toy so bad, he began to fight for it. They both pulled the toy so hard that the nutcracker's arm came off. Fritz left the toy. I... I am so sorry, Clara. No! My nutcracker! <laughs> oh, dear children. This is Christmas, the time of magic. Don't worry, he will be fine. I will wrap him up. But you have to keep him under the Christmas tree all night, okay? Only then the magic will work. Here, take this. I will leave you now. Keep your nutcracker safe, Clara. Time for some magic in this house. That night, Clara couldn't sleep at all. She kept thinking about her nutcracker. Finally, she went to her toy and hugged him. She kept him on her lap and fell asleep. Some time later, she heard a noise. As she opened her eyes, she saw that the mouse warrior had come to life. He drew his sword and came closer to Clara. And suddenly, a lot of mice came behind him. All were going to attack her. Clara stood up to scare the mice away. But then she realized that she was as small as the mice herself. She began to shiver with fear. Just then, the nutcracker came to life. Oh no, Clara! He ran to her room and stood in front of her closet. Listen, Clara is in trouble. We all have to help her. Come, follow me. Everyone ran down to save their Clara. As soon as they reached, a war broke between the mice and the toys. Clara ran away and hid behind the Christmas tree. The toys fought bravely, but there were two less toys compared to the mice. The Nutcracker himself was badly wounded. Slowly, the mice surrounded him. Oh no! My Nutcracker! All the mice saw their leader on the ground and ran away. And the toys won the war. Oh, Nutcracker, no! Please, please, open your eyes! No! As she cried, the Christmas tree began to shine brightly. Uh, what? The Nutcracker was transformed into a young prince. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? I am the Nutcracker. You broke the curse, Clara. You saw beauty beyond my long nose and my big head. Before Clara could say anything, the piano began to play a beautiful tune. And what happened next was truly magical. Oh, how she swirled around her nutcracker. Clara, did you sleep here all night? Uh, what? Where, where's the mouse warrior? A and my nutcracker? He is in your hands, Clara. Are you okay, my child? Good morning, everyone. Oh, Clara, did you sleep here under the tree all night? Uncle, the nutcracker. He's a young prince. He came alive last night, and, and so did the mouse warrior, and they fought, and all the candies were dancing. Candies danced, 
and Mouse fought? Ugh, I feel so guilty. I broke her toy, and now my sister has gone mad. <laughs> Clara, why don't you keep your nutcrackers safely in your closet and come down to have breakfast? Yes, Uncle. Clara didn't mind that nobody believed her, for she knew that once she grows up, she believed in her nutcracker. She knew that as she grows up, she will find him one day and they will be happy together. Up in her room, Clara kept her nutcracker safely in the closet and went down to be with her family. After all, it was Christmas, the time of magic. Mm -hmm.